right, so today I'm going to show you how to make some beer bread. Really quick, easy recipe, and uh, this is everything you're going to need. You're going to need a can of warm beer. Now, when I say warm beer, it doesn't have to be like heated up. Just room temperature is fine. I've got some craft beer here I'm going to use. You can also use uh, non-alcoholic beer if uh, for some reason uh, the thought of alcohol bothers you. Uh, you can actually even use soda. Um, I would recommend like, you know, Sprite, Mountain Dew, um, cream soda, whatever. Uh, but you can use a can of carbonated uh, soda. Uh, egg, self-rising flour. This is very important. If you use regular flour, this is not going to work unless you add baking soda or something like that. Uh, so, so make sure you get self-rising flour. Sugar, we're going to use an egg, and then we got our implements of uh, construction here. Now, before I make any YouTube video, I like to go on and see if there's already a video out there. And I discovered that there were videos, and I watched several of them, and I decided to make this video anyway because um, if you follow those other video recipes uh, and you follow mine, you're going to like mine better. I'll tell you why. But uh, we're going to start with three cups of the self-rising flour. We're going to add approximately a third of a cup of sugar. Uh, you can add a quarter of a cup. You could add no sugar if you wanted to, but uh, if you add the sugar, um, you're going to like it. Now one of the things that most of the videos I watched they did not use was an egg. You're going to want to use an egg. This is, this is why this recipe is going to be better than some of the other ones you're going to find. Now when it comes to beer, I like good strong IPAs, good strong big tasting beers. And so I'm going to use a uh, an IPA, an Indian Pale Ale for this. This has a lot of hops flavor. Uh, hops are a bitter floral um, uh, herb, or they're a flower is what they are. Uh, and I'm going to use this. If you like dark beer, you can use a dark beer. If you like light beer, you can use a light American Pilsner beer. Uh, depends on what you like. But I'm going to use an IPA. We're going to whisk this all up with a fork. As I mentioned before, you could use a can of Sprite if you wanted to do this. You could use a can of Big Red if you wanted to. Uh, any 12 ounce carbonated beverage uh, will work just fine. And this is going to be, it could be kind of lumpy, but this is going to kind of turn out like a pancake batter. Uh, it's not going to be um, shouldn't be too thick, shouldn't be too runny. Um, pancake batter is, thick pancake batter is kind of what we're going for here. And uh, I've already heated up my oven to 350 degrees. Um, and we're going to bake this for an hour. Now, most of the recipes I saw online, they talked about um, 375 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. I like doing it a little lower, a little slower. I think I'm going to get a little bit more rise out of my bread than uh, most people I saw. The bread was was not very, not very big uh, in the pan. All right, so we're going to spray our uh, pan with some uh, our bread pan with some cooking spray. Now, now I've seen where people talk about putting butter on here. That's fine. Butter's fine for spreading around. Um, nothing nothing wrong with doing that all right then we're gonna take we're gonna pour our batter in here I saw one lady online she was using a 16 ounce can of beer with the same amount of ingredients um, I'm thinking that's gonna really fill up your your bread pan here but um, 12 ounces is all you need all right that's gonna go in the oven for uh, an hour at 350 Alright, time to see if the magic happened. Look at that. Mm -mm. Alright, we'll let these cool for just a little bit and then uh, cut them open. Alright, so this is cooled for a little bit. Uh, pops right out of the pan as you can see. Um, now, I will tell you that the longer you let this set, and the cooler it is, the easier it will slice. 
but uh, you're not going to wait want to wait that long. This is uh, this is nice and warm out of the oven, and uh, you put a little bit of butter on that, a little bit of salt. Uh, it is wonderful. You can see it's nice and and spongy. Um, it's good looking bread, and it is delicious. We'll cut another piece here that's not on the end. So again, you can see that's nice, spongy, soft, um, wonderful, wonderful bread. And uh, you can add a little bit of salt to this recipe if you want. Even a little bit of garlic salt or something like that. I wouldn't add more than about a teaspoon if you're going to do that. But again, I just like to put this on a plate, sprinkle a little bit of salt on it, and uh, it is delicious. So there you go. There's the easy, um, I think, uh, probably the best recipe for, for making beer bread. Uh, that's out there. Enjoy.